I just want to cover things that you're going to cover today so that you understand uh, that you are part of a process. And, and, and the process that you are doing is, is, uh, is very, very, very important, like really important, especially for interview. And did you when I see Jimmy, me, uh, some of you know what they are doing. But the moment you know, God, I'm going to camera. Hey, 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 hey. I'm going to go to So the first thing that you're going to go through, we're going to spend at least an hour. Okay? And I'm going to be speaking so fast. Because at the end of the day, I want to leave about 10 to 15 minutes for you guys to ask questions. And again, the first session is going to cover, um, the first session is going to cover exactly what to do on an interview. And then the last session, I'm going to cover the steps that you should take. I'm going to be very confused. You know, my lessons, when should I book my TV test? And now a little bit about me. I have a strong background in digital marketing and a little bit of IT. And um, I've worked with a lot of companies, uh, helping them, especially to do with, uh, with uh, technology, making sure that their business is online and they are selling online. And I've been privileged enough to work with one person in the, in the UK. Um, I was assisting them with uh, their websites. Uh, website, I get a down, they call me, can you do this for me, do this for me. Apparently, I've been working with them for years, okay? And apparently, it was a healthcare company, okay? And when they were recruiting in Zimbabwe, and they wanted help to help some of their people in Zimbabwe, the only person that they could contact was was me, can you help our people, they need this, they need that, they need to do an interview, uh, they need to do an interview, can you, uh, can you help them and things like that. Is that making sense? Yeah. So during that process, I was able to help a couple of people uh, uh, to the UK right now in terms of uh, what they wanted. So I kind of know the processes, especially in uh, technology. So let us look at, um, let us look at, um, the process of applying for the UK and where the interview is very key. I'm going to come back to that later on and we're going to spend at least um, an, an hour together. We're going to spend at least an hour together and, um, and we, we, we take you through the process. So the first thing that happens is that you either send your proposal, your application to, to the employer, right? And um, let me remove my hat. To the employer and then the employer is going to say send us your cv okay when you send your cv then you are called for an interview so make a sense mm -hmm. which is okay and it again but the interview is key and so at some point you're going to be called for an interview so the first thing that you need for an interview is a device what kind of device do you use for an interview Anyone? Yes? Yes? Come again? Computer, laptop. Anyone else? Huh? I'm school guns, why? I'm school guns, why? My cell phone. Your cell phone can actually do an interview. A laptop, yes, it can do an interview if it has got a webcam. But you can a webcam, a camera. When you are speaking to them, they need to see you. So that's number one. The first thing that you need is a device. And did you get? Number two, you need a uh, lighting, okay? You need lighting. Um, you need lighting for 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 the interview. A very good example. Can everyone else uh, take out their phone? Can you speak to them? Um, can everyone take out their phone? I want us to remember this by head. So the first thing that we need is what? device either a laptop or and the second thing that you need is lighting that is it lighting everyone take out your phone magaro amaka to turn down to move i want you to turn on your camera and try and put a check yourself a picture and, and 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 tell me what you what you get okay in terms of lighting no just don't turn your camera like that your camera should, and so it should be like this. And this again, right? I'm gonna switch off this as well. And this again, can you see your face properly? You can't, and this Now I want you to turn that side. Mutar side Please, everyone, turn. 
Okay. Can you see yourself properly? Let's say yes. And it. So one thing that you should, the second thing that you should know, let me give you a moment, everyone else again, turn back here. I need to see your faces. So the second important thing that you need to make sure that is light is behind you. Does it make a sense? Light, not, not light, light mustn't go behind you, I mean. So if light is behind you, light is behind me, the face here, you just see? So light should be in front of you. And it again, light should be, should be like that. And then um, that's an important thing. And one of the devices that I use is this, one of these things. This is what I use for my, for my interviews. This is a light, you cannot connect up a USB. Uh, and then you just turn it on. Pumu, can you turn this on for me, please? Um, just plug into the, uh, to the, um, uh, adapter, can go plug and then you turn it on. So that, that's one other thing that I actually um, use. My gates, point number three, electricity. When you're conducting an online interview, there's a no um, When you're conducting an online interview, you need to make sure you've got enough electricity. Does it make sense? The people in the diaspora, they've got electricity 24-7. Do you get me? They have electricity 24 because I was watching my guests, I end up as we see, say, unless if they come here. Is that making sense? So, one thing that you should make sure that you have electricity. Can I use that? Make sure your devices are fully charged. In my laptop, if it's fully charged, it can go for five hours with power. If my cell phone is charged, it can go for five hours, with power, with like five hours with power. But in most cases, your interview is actually done uh, in about uh, 15 to 20 minutes. That's the time for them. So you need to make sure you have enough electricity. So I want, to, I want us to repeat again what I said. The first thing that you need is a device. The second thing is proper. The third thing is what? I am Okay, that's good. Okay. Now, um, the third thing is that uh, that you need is internet connection. And is it? Dash for the UK, my gates are Internet footage? Come internet, my one. This is a problem with it. And they don't understand that. So the moment you're called by your first employer and then you try and explain good internet to Kunoku, hmm, ah, ah, no, 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 I know a lot of people they use Wi-Fi, and it again. A lot of people they use Wi-Fi and uh, and, uh, and 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 the other devi and the other devices that they use. It could be from work, it could be from home, or anything, or anything in between. Okay, so back to lighting. Let's say kumbako ni akuna window shi. Ragadonge iro. Do make sense? Even what I do now is that I turn this on, and then I have my face in the like this. Can you see me now? Okay. Thanks so much, Pum. Yeah, switch it off. Thank you. So I get this. Um, this one, if you have money, this like fifteen twenty dollars to get my, my, my shops, and then you can do your proper uh, 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 lighting. So I was on point of Wi-Fi. I did it again. Like I was saying, back there, Wi-Fi is good as compared to Kuno. Even if you can have Wi-Fi, you can have to battle among my areas. Does it make sense? But in Nini, I have one spot in the internet. I have one spot in the internet. I love to work from home more than any other place in Zimbabwe. Does that make sense? But if you don't have Wi-Fi, I recommend you go with data bundles. That imagine? They have proven to work. My data bundles are Econet. My data bundle is a net one. And it's okay. tenga one gig. That's it? One gig. It's enough to take you through the interview without any objections. Does it make sense? Even if you are located in, uh, in, uh, in any other place like um, uh, in, in Zimbabwe, you can just give it a try. But data bundles have proven to, to do the magic. Okay. So let us count again. The first thing that you need is a device, lighting, 
Wi-Fi, good. Clap hands for yourself, guys. You guys are just amazing. <laughs> okay, um, and then you need to know the clothes to wear. I know you guys have got nice clothes. I especially come at Zimai, you know, Zorin, Orun, Zay. I need a new dress for the interview. And this, but anyway, you need to know the clothes to wear. Here's why. So when you're actually doing an interview, the first thing that you need to understand is the background that you are at. Does it make sense? Can you do the background and sort of background? You come on over, come back over, you want to see. background is very much required. Does it make sense? So I'm going to come back to to the to the background issue, but. Your, your, your dressing basically should oppose the background. And it, right? I want us to compare my color contracts. Is this a light color? Is this a dark color? Is this a light color? Yes. Is this a dark color? Yes. So if your background is light, your clothes should be? Dark. If your background is dark, your clothes should be? Nice. They should be opposing. So you can have a background, you're white. And you're wearing white clothes. As you did say? As you did say. So uh, let's go to the, uh, 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 another point on that. We're looking at environment. And the environment here, I'm going to make sense. When you're talking of the environment, I'm talking about your background. Does it have distractions? You're going to go to a sitting room. And your kids probably are playing in the background. And maybe your husband or your wife are going to move and move. Or room kitchen, there's sound. So make sure your environment does not have um, does not have my distractions. And in what I do uh, in Kumba, I have a room and do shiny stuff for my work. So if I need to do an online interview, you know what I do? Pangwa don't go draga flower, don't go gadzi kapu, go kaya zinda background. Don't go draw to my books. Two angu niya zora gizano. Niya zora zora. I'm kumu na ndasi. And for us, we're wearing. Does that make sense? If you're a family person, you're going to go to my pictures to family in the background and things like that. So that when you sit, the background is showing. That is all. Other than, I know that when you you know when you interview, when we are going to one room, don't in the kitchen, don't in the bedroom, don't in the she. So the interview you are going to go in the summer pool, talk mashuro. And this guy, what you just need to do is to put a nice curtain, which is just clear. Can I also get a good display of background? Just make sure your background is just clear, just white. It's it's, it's okay. You you know get that interview. Does that make sense? Okay, you guys are just amazing. Okay. Let's move on to another point. Um, I spoke about tripods and lights. You can get this. It's optional. And then again, you don't have to go out of your budget and say you want to get this. But if, you have, if you're in a place where there is natural light, natural light works, uh, works enough. Okay. And then if you cannot get internet, if you're not sure of what you need to do, I rather recommend you go to an internet cafe. And then again, I know we've got a lot of internet cafes around us. You ask those guys to say, I need to conduct an online interview. I need to pay money. One of them set up my headphones, set up the application in Ushandi Square, set up everything, and then you sit in an internet cafe and then you do the interview. Does it make sense? Don't get stuck when you can actually get help. When you go to the internet cafe, make sure you have a dollar internet. You know, you have two dollars for so. You have to have a lot of money. You have to have a lot of money. Attention. Remember, you have to interview that's another that's another tip there and then um when you're conducting an interview i showed you guys uh, uh um that you can actually use a laptop or you can use a cell phone now when we're going to change a cell phone let's say i'm using this thing let me see if i can oh okay okay ah, sorry let's say I'm, I'm actually holding my phone uh, at this position. Now, let me just put this on. The reason why I love this thing is because it holds my phone on my behalf. And then again, you can put your phone on your phone. You can put your phone on your phone. You can I'm going to show you, if you cannot invest in this, I'm going to show you how you can hold your phone on a very, very long time best. And then again, the first thing that you need to make sure that you do, don't hold your phone like this. Can you raise our phones? <laughs> Don't hold your phone like. Can anyone know how? Can anyone suggest how should they hold their phone? Why did you say this? We are in class. You said this. You're the first one to say that. I think because of the length. Yeah. 
because of the it's easier to another 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 suggestion why should you hold your phone like this yes the better view clip ends for him and now okay i just clip it for him. come on give him a pump pump gesture pump pump gesture and then um why should you hold your phone like this as well another person okay the reason why you should hold your phone like this and then again Remember the employer or the person at who interviewer may be using a laptop. So that this view here phony, you know, she gets not so fit up a laptop pack in the end. Does it? Yeah, not so zar. So make sense. Ukatai so kapisa kan? Ukatai mo endapa center center page? Pe laptop. So make sense. So that's that's how you should actually uh that's how you should actually hold your cell phone. And with this device, you can actually just put your device here and then again and then look at the device here like this it can stand there and your hands will be free does it make sense right can i also take this thing i'm going to show you uh i'm going to explain to you like your sitting position when i'm actually talking about uh uh the sitting position that you should have okay just one second Magadien. I love manono kama matsura front seat that's good. I don't know why. Anyway, um we are still on um tripod and lights. I said that's an optional. And then um we are talking about uh your I, I spoke about about the internet cafe, right? And then I want to talk about earphones, your sound. And it again. If you're going to hold your phone like this, you need to push your phone away from you so that my shoulders are where they I will make if you move your phone or laptop away from you that means sound may be really really difficult and then and then when you go interview aka ku vunza mvunzo unoko not sorry i didn't hear that we were such in zero chako bachi ba u sanze ya ko ba hello sorry sorry I didn't want to say, imagine to So now, if you don't keep a very good distance in terms of uh, your, 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 your sound, you're going to have trouble with listening. And it again. So you can invest in earphones. My earphones are a dollar or two dollars. And make sure you're going to my earphones, no one's going to be able to microphone here. I need my earphones. If you plug into your laptop or oh, yeah, my earphones are not going to shine this side. I'm not going to capture a sound. And I'm not going to capture a sound. And I'm not going to put sound foot in your earphones. That simply means I will shut your ears. You see, on a very sitting position, certain position, and then you are looking into the into the camera. Okay. Um, and then I'm talking about setting up uh, your sitting. I did it again. I know some of the ladies here they've got very nice beds. I mean, uh no zava one don't go to interview. Agarara magumbesi ya mshya. Can taka gara on a very comfortable um on a very comfortable um couch or anything like that. It's not bad to do your interview with a bed or anything or a sofa and things like that. But we need to make sure that you are in a position. You are in a position you are not moving around or things like that. Does it make sense? So the best position that you can have that I have when I'm actually doing my online interviews I'm going in I do them in a classroom setup. And remember when we when we when we at school the classroom setup is like this. This is my desk or whatever you can actually use, okay? And this is my chair. Sorry. And this is my chair. Ndo vana gara na kada iso. Does it make sense? So when I sit like this, if you don't have any one of those things, you know, but your 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 phone, if you're using a phone, your elbows here up. You know, this is showing. Go connect the belly, no zi. Okay. Go kora ra koir. Run phone engira ka gara ra ka day. Ra ka bataji phone. And this is what. Unu kono bara ni mo ko two like this. Does it make sense? Can I go to one? While this hand is what? Is resting. And then I'm not irregular. 
you switch and remember pana pakana uchona kuti tibe chinenge kurwadza guko ranongonesa something chine comfort pana you make a sense so you can be switching it's much easier than waka gara pa mbeda waka dai than waka gara pa sofa waka dai waka dai kana only one of those you can just put it there so if you phone your gara again then you be just uh doing that did i explain that clearly clip hands for me please okay um okay so um there was that and then if you um um doing this you need to also avoid distractions i've spoken about avoiding distractions nowadays like my cell phone i don't know if you've got a cell phone like mine i'm going to brag about it but when one does that mine does that as well <laughs> but if yours does that great maybe it does that but you don't know so for yangu e the one that i have right now i can block my whatsapp messages while it's some online does that make sense with my cell phone i can select the applications that i want to use the internet does that make sense so i don't know whatsapp block facebook block my calls block everything else is blocked and then i'm just connected to the person that i'm speaking to so it makes sense that's what my phone does i don't know about yours but that's what my phone does because if you don't avoid distractions uri pakati pe interview bai wakano ba phone so it makes sense kana what your relative can actually call akango phone chete ka pachona zombozama kukata kana kuti sei sei unogona kudenza phone yacho unogona loza focus unogona kana kuti wavunza kuti chi so it makes sense kana vito bvira kana vito bvira it don't go block as yes we going to make sure you are focusing on the on the interview because it's just 20 minutes and it go and then uh in any also if if i'm using wifi if i'm using wifi if i'm connected to wifi i can put my phone on flight mode and wifi is still connected so make sense but i normally cut off my my whatsapp calls my direct calls and make sure i focus on the on the interview and then um maintain uh looking into the camera i did again i remember one of these days when i was actually assisting someone so uh ndakamitra set up yake and i was actually sitting next i was actually standing next to the person and it saka pana chimbatsira kudaro aita zve zvekuti anenge andi camera inenge chinoita kwatasa kuno and then uita zvitambisa maziso so and it i told you you know that was wrong you should have also found out to tarisa and it So you should make sure you maintain looking into the camera. Kana vachita interview yacho ka, the person will be like looking into the camera, looking at you. In way where you should also be looking directly into the camera. Should make a sense. And don't be like you're getting answers from somewhere and things like that. Here's why. Interview you're going to shoot is a recorded interview. And in most cases your employer has sira no kuti sa interview are going to do it going to do an interview with someone and that interview is supposed to be submitted for assessment to make a sense saka if you do anything you use i and you apply through sekuru wangu whatever whatever let your interview be impressive to make a sense so um that's another point there and then answer what you are asked to wrong chete mm ukavunza mvunzo ka Pizza is all bones go. And this I'm I'm going to go I'm going to go again. What time is it now? 9:00. Oh, that was fast. Okay. Now, I'm going to go through some of the questions that they asked, but before I do that, I want to tell you about my applications, the common applications that I use. There are two of them. The first one is Zoom. I'm sure you've heard about it, aren't you? In Washington is Google, uh, it's Google Sheet, Google Meet. And this they use those two. And downloading those um those uh applications you can download them on your phone or you can download them on your computer so it makes sense you just join uh, just like a joining a whatsapp group uh, just like a joining a whatsapp there's a knock uh, someone is knocking there uh, just like you joining a whatsapp group you just open the link and then it's going to take you through the steps of setting up your audio and uh, and the other things um, in between oh there's a seat here okay i love people who sit in front okay um still on that now let us look at the question that they ask and it again usanyanyo chika too much 
these are very 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 simple questions and it again the number one question i know this by head okay i know these things by head the number one question i would really want to do this defeat and someone who wants to volunteer i was don't but after this njaku charge mari kuti ndikubatsire saka just volunteer now for free <laughs> who wants to volunteer anyone i'm going to pick someone random <laughs> <laughs> huh? Want to do a question and answer like I'm an employer I'm just asking you questions. Come on, let's do this guys. <laughs> huh? Okay, please come to the front. What's your name? Anita. Please clap hands for Anita. Okay, uh I need a chair, yeah. I need a chair. Yeah. So that Anita can sit comfortably. <laughs> oh, you understand maybe? You'd rather sit, okay. <laughs> okay, that's that, that's okay. That's okay. Ah, uh, I would rather sit as well. You can come and sit here so that everyone can see. Into dog garo, I need a chair. So. Oh, thank you so much. So I'm going to be interviewing Anita. And it again? It no for okay, that's good. Okay so the first thing that they do before you join the interview like if your interview is at 9 and it like in my experience that is how they have been doing it when you find at 9 exactly 9 exactly but you know that you know muga no no guy you know but you can tell you so no no i'm telling you the truth if interview is at 9 at 9 they are on the call exactly 9 on the dot so you want make sure you the interview like 10 minutes earlier at 9 they call you to say we needed to test the sound if you can hear us so they're going to ask you like how are you and then you go like yeah i can hear you and then they say okay stay online we're going to call you back again you know ngona mbauri pa wangu tsari so chingo takuman what's happening so that's how they they do it is that making sense okay so anita let's do this okay Can you tell us about yourself? Uh, my name is Anita Masai. Yes. Um I'm 32 years old. Muru zinzero. I'm so zinzwa. So the other thing that you need to make sure that you do is to speak out louder. Do you make sense? To speak out louder. So that uyu munhu ari ku on the other side hafungi zero kuti what is she? Is better you speak out louder than to put your voice low so we're going to start again did you get almost straight okay can you please tell us about yourself do you hear my voice is loud yeah can you please tell us about yourself i'm a lady age 33 uh started marketing and i live in arai and uh two children come again two children Okay. Did you hear what she said? Mm-hmm. Clap hands for her. She answered what she was asked. Mm-hmm. Tell us about yourself. If if someone says tell us about yourself, you can pick anything that you like to answer, did you get? You can talk about your hobbies, sports, family, job, whatever you like because it's it's about yourself. Your age, your kids, your fam- whatever you need to say, did you get? Now, um the follow-up question now is like um why should we hire you for the healthcare job <laughs> i think i need help on this ask no or ask you zinzwa no 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 just just answer anything if you're wrong they will clap i'll make sure they clap hands for you i make sure they clap hands for you. because you volunteer okay why should we hire you for this healthcare job I'm passionate about um uh, healthcare and taking care of people who are not feeling well and trying to give them comfort so that they heal quickly. Okay, so you see you see how she 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 answered this question. Was she good? Huh? So clap hands for her. So she was good at answering the question, but her first glance apo mvunzo asiri reality not good as 
kone kupindura but she was like wow i don't want to hear and it i've seen that happening you're doing good thanks on it so um now the follow up question is what do you understand about confidentiality uh for our clients if you're going to be working with our clients um can you explain your understanding about client's confidentiality well client confidentiality means that you have to be discreet about the information you get about the client um okay go ahead sorry you you also need to you also need not to share the information with anybody else except uh, maybe the doctor who is in charge of that okay client. did she do good yeah. remember you're answering what you are you ask don't go over that and did you get now let's say you are reporting for duty you are supposed to start work at 9 and you get there at 10 and you are supposed to enter um the time on the time clock on the time sheet uh, the time that you arrived at work you are supposed to get there at 9 according to your duty roster and you delay get there at 10 which time do you enter and why do you enter 10 or you enter 9 why because that's the time i got in and i'm not supposed to lie okay that's good now let's say you um at home with um with a patient and you you have a situation with a patient that needs external help okay where you are supposed to call your duty manager to say hey i'm having a challenge with this and your duty manager is not available what do you do who else do you reach out to uh, anyone to help you okay let no okay go ahead and do that uh, i check with the patients uh, close relatives that are in the house if they have a personal doctor for that patient and then later on maybe try to send a message to the duty manager Okay that's that's clear piece for her. So what you do is um let's say this is one of the common questions that is asked is okay so let's say probably pa mumba much more two. And then so on 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 your list spending for my next of kin and things like that. So if a duty manager is available you can actually reach out to any one of those um any one of those people. Now let's talk about this one. Let's say you find out that your workmate is misbehaving at work or they did something okay let's let's say a situation like this whereby um you go on duty and you find out the client reports to you about the previous person who was on duty uh, how they mistreated the client and they are reporting to you okay what do you do with that kind of situation uh, firstly, do you okay okay go ahead firstly i would try to talk to my colleague if I have the contact and just let them know that uh, this is the situation that happened and mm-hmm. if they can correct it in future then they do so um then if it's a serious matter that needs to be reported to the duty manager maybe also for on to do that mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so let's clip in for you did very well um um i think you did very well this is the end of our interview <laughs> So um I was actually asking you yeah, did you do your healthcare training or something like that? I just did Red Cross. You just did Red Cross. Okay, that's fine. So um uh, thank you so much you did very well. So some of the questions that they ask you they are in relation to to healthcare. And did you get? And then move with your own is just common sense. Does it make sense? uh is often a confidentiality is often a name who do you report to if you have my challenges at work um how do you handle them and and all these are the questions i'm going to give you a set of questions that they that they basically uh ask they are available on the internet you can just google them so that you can be ready for uh for that so it's going to be a little bit of a personal issue a little bit of personal um your personal life and a little bit of of work so make sense Like for instance you have any confidentiality comes any confidentiality mo mna ngona to vary ka vocabulary not confidentiality that's why you need to come to the class ya nyare and then so that you learn some of this vocab vocab and ndinda ngato dzidzo zvakawanda in the in the English lessons so um 
you may be so that is just common sense uka bvunza nyaye confidentiality hapana maya ndoti nyaye dzake dziri mhana dzite se dzizikane so um that's about it now i'm going to go to the process of um i guess i've answered most of your questions about interviews right and i'm going to allow everyone to ask questions later on not now let me just go through the process of um of applying for your for your for your um applying for your for your for your work as a caregiver okay so i'm not going to give you the exact method so make a sense get me right anything that i'm going to say here is based on the sponsor that i've been working with and again it's not based with each and every individual's situation because i don't know who your sponsor is i don't know how they do their stuff and things like that but this process really is going to help you understand what happens so the first thing that happens is that um 